Hey guys, the Bears fan of six here, and today for you, Duelings. Um, so I'm um, level 34 now. Um, someone in the comments did mention that I should start leveling other people as well. Um, seemed like a good idea since duels are getting harder. So I got some of these characters up some levels. Took a lot of them to 10 first. Um, I still have. Uh, I like Bandit Key Switcheroo move. That's nice. Um, nice water deck I made. I'm working on the last two here now. Um, but. So we're still waiting on the Toon World to come back. I got to play it for like five minutes, um, which wasn't long enough, but it is what it is. Um, I started working on a Cerberus farm deck. I did get um, two, or one Cerberus. Um, so I did get one today, which I was pretty happy about. But um, I, some decks run one, some decks run two, but I'm missing a lot of the other cards that I need to make it run properly, a lot of the spell cards. So uh, I have a deck that it works, but it ain't gonna work good enough. So there's not much I can do. So I'm just gonna keep waiting. Let me readjust that there. All right, so I've um, gotten quite a bit better, quite a lot of cards. I meant to show you the deck first, but I'll show you guys my deck and my updated ultra rares that I have. So uh, as you can see, one of my new cards is in fact uh, Yomi Ship. Yomi Ship, I don't know, whatever, however you say it, either way. Um, so, Joey's not too difficult unless he gets a original summon out pretty quick. Or those gear guys, they're, they're a pain in the ass. I'm not even kidding. Um, especially because they have 1,800 attack. It's ridiculous. So, he is good as dead, though, so I'm good there. Now, he probably already has another one. He has three of them in this deck, which are probably the most annoying part about it, just because for the fact as well is... Um, I don't think any of my guys can beat them one-on-one, -on -one, so I need, like, the ship works, um, the trap card, uh, I forget how you say it specifically, the trap one that uh, if you, they kill a monster, you can kill a monster. So, and now we're, we're effed in the A. It's probably the dragon one. Is it? No, Flaming Swordsman. I was hoping it was the dragon one, because he does get the stupid time guy, which is annoying as well. I'm in bad shape here, though. I... I beat him like five times already at level 40, and then as soon as I record it, I'm freaking going to lose. It's story of my life. It's basically what's going to happen. you got to be kidding me. Um, ah, well, that actually that helps quite a bit. Um, so, I don't know how many monsters would suck, or... Anything to get a monster. Hopefully he doesn't pit draw one now. Of course he draws one. Of course he draws the freaking 1800 attack guy. Why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he? So I really need, really need a good card. No, it's not good enough. So, let's hope for the better. I don't know if he's gonna, yeah, I figured he'd switch. He's definitely not gonna attack with the 900, but I'll only take 900 damage instead of losing. Or that, now I'm gonna lose. Oh, of course he gets a six. Why not? I meant to lie, I was gonna live stream today, but I saw a lot of unpacking stuff I had to do around the house, so I didn't get around to it. But, yeah, and they need to adjust XP. XP is ridiculously stupid. For like a level 40, if you win, it's only 500. Like, they need to fix XP because it is not correlating correctly with the difficulty, in my opinion. So, well, let's hope this guy's level 40. You level 40, please? Yeah, all right. So we'll try again. At least this one doesn't cost us keys. <laughs> um... This stack's good to face him. Yeah, I guess. Well, I mean, it's too late now. I already freaking joined. But after this, we'll do a card update and then uh, be done. All right. Not the best hand. Mrs. Zor? Mitch E. Mitch I. Zor? I don't freaking know. Oh, well, he doesn't have. Um, he doesn't have the water field card he every time i play him level 30 or 40 he always has it in his first hand it's ridiculous every time i'm not even kidding you 
but somehow he didn't draw it this turn. But it's alright, I mean I got the axe in the tree, so now I need to draw a monster next turn. Mm, what is that? Once per turn you can special summon one level 4 lower water monster for your hand, you must control no other monsters to activate and to resolve the effect. Oh look, now he has it. <laughs> what? I don't even understand that. Where? You must have drew it. You had to have, and you must have had the other stuff in your hand, because there's no way in hell you just... You didn't play it the first turn. I mean, maybe you wouldn't have played it the first turn. That just seems really weird. Um, well, he is out of cards, so this is not boding well for him. Oh, you son of a bitch. So, bring out blue eyes. I need the points. The more points you get, the more chance I have to get rare cards. So, I'm going to go for it at least. Alright. Not scared of you, partner. Not scared of you at all. Set of monsters. Of course you drew one. Please draw a monster, thank you. Alright, I really doubt it's going to be over 1600. Yeah, I don't think so. Does my mountain decrease water? No, it doesn't decrease anything. I don't know why it was red. What did he play? Oh, he played a machine. Why does he have a... Why does he have a machine card in his water deck? It's weird. Um, Mako is really awesome to fight uh, Bandit Keith because with Umi out there, <laughs> man, you uh, basically all of his monsters are decreased in attack. It's pretty fantastic. All right, sadly I have no other one in the graveyards. I don't have a third one of these guys yet. Eventually I'll get one. Well, at least I won this one. And <laughs> don't know how I lost to Joey, but at least I won this one. I think it, I just got shafted. That's what it was. Super serial shafted. Oh, 37. Oh, nice. I got that from my water deck. That's good. I don't have that yet. I have that turret already. I'm excited about that shell, though. I can use that in my water deck. Alright. Blah, 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 blah. What did we get? Oh, 1500 battle points of damage. Okay. So. There's a couple decks I use, but this is one of them here. Um, I did get three of these finally, which I'm really excited about. And uh, use this one quite often. Um, another deck I use is my water one. So this one here. Um, this guy's pretty cool. If he dies, decrease the attack by 500. Um, that's another one, whatever. Um, Mermaid's cool. Get 800 life points per standby. That's pretty sweet. This guy counts as two for summoning a water. And this trap card's awesome, which I got recently. So basically it makes it a monster. It's pretty sweet. It does take up a trap field space though. So that's my water deck. And then I use a double attack deck here. Um, so Godlike Barrel, Dragon Sphere, Karibo, I'll keep those in. Two of these guys here so I can summon a Dragon Warrior Spellcaster. Um, obviously, you want me there for the destroying stuff. But this guy here, secondary effect, if there's a wind on the field, he gets to attack twice if he kills a monster. Um, he's wind. And um, same thing with her. She gets to attack twice if she's wind. Same thing with this guy. If there's wind on the field. Um, I have the tree here uh, because of this guy. If he flips him, I can pull out the trees. Trees are nice to help uh, block some of that those um, higher attack guys when they summon them. So if they summon a guy that turn, he gets 300 attack, which is pretty sweet. Overall, it works fairly well, um, the deck itself. Um, I have this card. I'm probably going to take it out. It doesn't, it's not very useful, to be honest with you. I mean... If I have two two monsters out and a blue eyes in my hand, but I already summoned that turn, I can play it, and then I could summon blue eyes, or I could summon this guy as well. Um, but that's really the only thing it plays for is those two guys. 
Uh, Conscription is one of my favorite cards to use as well because it's an easy way to get um, an extra monster because a lot of these um, um, uh, NPC duels you do, um, they a lot. it's full of mostly monsters, so it helps quite a bit, especially if you use it at the end of their turn. You almost always get a monster. I think it's like, to me, I think it's about 70, 75%, it seems on average. And then next turn, I could summon something, which is very useful. So it's what I like to use. And then lastly, mm, all my cards here. I mean, like I said, I got some more. Let's sort by rarity. So I've had Sphere Crew for a while. Um, action unit. This one. That one I used to help get out Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Two Fishermen. Ryoku. I just got that from Card Trader today. Three of those from Pax. Sonic from Pack. Insect Queens from um, the Weevil Guy, I think. Dark Magician Girls from the other thing. Barrel Dragons from uh, Bandit Keith. So stuff like that. I don't have the best cards yet. Like I said, my server stack, I'm still missing quite a few cards that I should be using with it. Um, interesting. I had a, there was one I was using. Is it this one? Yeah, this Cerberus deck. So, basically every time you play a spell card, you gain 500 attack. When you attack, you lose all the, the spell tokens on there. So it goes back to 1400 attack. Um, reason why there's only one, because once you hit, take 1800 points in damage, you can use Yugi's special move where it um, in the draw phase, instead of doing a normal draw, you can random, randomly draw a spellcaster type monster. And when you only have one in your deck, you're guaranteed to get them. So then you can start setting up, basically. It's how you do 10,000 damage, and it's how you get seven to 8,000 points at the end of the duel. So you get the most, um, the most uh, points, so you get the most chest afterwards. So, But that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to call it for this episode. I will uh, see you guys later.